Our headlines for you today, the longest joint strike in NHS history. Junior doctors and consultants are walking out for three days from today in a long-running dispute over pay. Water bills are set to rise by £150 a year, part of a proposed upgrade plan by suppliers to cut the amount of sewage spills. Tougher rules on benefits and a boost to the national living wage. The Chancellor, Jeremy Hunt, will be on breakfast this morning as he sets out his plans at the Conservative Party conference. Whether it's birthday cards or Christmas cards, the cost of sending these gets more expensive from today as the price of a first-class stamp goes up by 15 pence. I'll have all the details and look at the impact on businesses like this card company. And in sports, it's coming Rome. There'll be some sore heads this morning after Europe's Ryder Cup success. Yep, the team regained the Ryder Cup after that sensational performance against the USA in Rome. Live Aid lives on. One of the most famous concerts of all time is being turned into a musical. Live Aid musical, who'd have thought? You know, Live Aid the musical happened 40 years ago. It was on, on Wembley, you know. Right, let's have a look at the Monday morning papers, shall we? And the Times leads with those health strikes we've been telling you about, reporting that some hospitals are facing steep bills paying for cover while doctors are out on the picket line. The paper saying that one medic received almost £8,000 to cover a shift. The Mirror unveils a number of celebrity backers for its campaign calling for free school meals for every primary school child. Olivia Coleman, Kate Winslet and Brian Cox are among those supporting the campaign. The Express leads on a preview of Chancellor Jeremy Hunt's uh, conference speech to the Tory party today in which he's going to say that he wants to incentivise work over claiming benefits, as well as raising the national living wage from next year. We're going to speak to him uh, a little bit later about those things here on Breakfast. The front page also including uh, one of many photos this morning of Rory McIlroy lifting up the Ryder Cup. Absolutely jubilant, weren't they? I mean, amazing scenes. Uh, also, we should just say we are hoping to talk to Luke Donald later in the programme. I'm just going to say that. What time is it now? <laughs> it's 18 minutes past six. I think after half past eight. Yeah. We're hoping to, but I know they've been partying quite long Depending. into the night. What are the chances? Well, let's wait and see, shall we? Keep your fingers crossed, everyone. Um, <sighs> and if you're thinking about... It's gone a bit autumnal, hasn't it? If it you're really thinking has. about pumpkin carving in a few weeks' time, you're going to have plenty to work with because farmers say pumpkins are going to be bigger than ever this year. Yeah, we had that rainy summer, didn't we? A very long and rainy summer. Well, apparently that has provided the perfect growing conditions for pumpkins there. So, yeah, look forward to lots of extra work and sore wrists as you carve out <laughs> for Halloween. Really difficult to they do. can be really tough, yeah. It's absolutely gorgeous picture. I see this in the, in the paper, in the mail today, Sal, that says that did you have a gerbil as a child? No. Pet gerbil? No, I didn't, didn't I have one. My mum was a teacher and she used to bring a gerbil home from school in the summer holidays for us to look after. But I was never allowed one permanently. I had two permanently. <laughs> oh, of course you did. Bobble and Squeak, their names were. No. In those days, in the 70s, it was very straightforward. But apparently, gerbils are going to be reclassed as exotic creatures. No. <laughs> they weren't that exotic in the 70s. But apparently that could mean that if you have a, a gerbil in future, you might have to do a pre-purchase knowledge test to properly understand your animals, understand how you need to feed them, house them, the temperature, the food that they take. It's so a complicated business these days. You need days. a licence for a gerbil. It's not Is a, that what it's you're not telling a full licence, but you will be quizzed extensively before you're allowed to buy one. How difficult is it to look after a gerbil, John? Bubble and Squeak had no complaints. <laughs> what do you feed them? Not Bubble and Squeak. I can't remember. <laughs> just grain and rabbit. Did you thing, feed them or did someone else do it for probably, you? Probably, probably. <laughs> but uh, if I'd done the quiz, I'd have known. Uh,